Today we went to Toys R Us because I wanted to see if they had any new figures. And in terms of Funko Pops, there really wasn't much that stood out to me besides this Diamond Edition Mr. DNA. Oh, and while I was looking through these Samurai Brooks at the bottom, they had five of them with no chase, so I think you guys know what happened. Oh, and you know what guys, it looks like they got in a lot of packs of Pokemon cards. And they, oh, are you getting some for videos? Who knows? Oh, you should, you should. Yeah. And I know Noah is around here somewhere also. They've got some Silver Tempest, which I know he really enjoys. But you know what guys, the problem is I'm not seeing any brilliant stars? Oh, come on. But besides the Pokemon cards as well as the Pops, I did see behind the counter they got in a couple new sodas, so I did end up grabbing two Robins. And since I didn't find much while I was out, we're also going to be catching up on some packages today. But we can't do that yet because we need to get into the Robin soda. And for this one, if I'm going to be honest, I don't really know what the chase is. I think it's him holding a weapon, something like that. And they only had two of them left, so fingers crossed I can get it today. And let's see what this first one here looks kind of normal to me. I'll have to check the disc, which I'm guessing, yeah, this is the normal Robin. Nothing special going on here. But now here's the good thing. I don't have any Robins in my collection, so it's still a new one for the set. And now let's get into the second one here. Ooh, I hope it's the chase. Alrighty, everybody, here we go. Let's find out. And yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the exact same as the other one it's another common and now don't worry about the sodas because I have two more coming well, actually four altogether two different characters are just inside of one of these boxes we'll find them eventually but for now let's get into this one which actually has a letter and it says a gift from Carla hi Tristan I don't have enough space here to write but I sent you a message on IG I did read that one Carla I remember you messaging me if you don't have this I hope you enjoy it Merry Christmas and greetings from Chicago well Carla thank you so much for sending this over and now let's find out what it is and also let's hope that I don't have this this figure okay I don't think I do no I do not well Carla this is pretty cool and thank you so much for sending this over if you guys don't know which one this is it is Zayn Malik pretty neat and also now that I think about it wasn't he in one direction so technically this is like the first character we've got from the one direction collection and I understand they're all separate now but a Harry Styles could be pretty cool in the future and yeah this is definitely a neat one I remember a lot of people were super excited about this when Funko had posted it like it was one of their most liked pictures of the year something like that so yeah really cool to have in the collection Carla thank you so much again now everybody we've got another Amazon package but I believe this one here is one that I ordered yeah it is oh this is a good one and it's funny it wasn't packaged as nicely as Carla's I'm not exactly sure why but whatever the box seems to be in nice condition this one here is the Amazon exclusive flocked coca-cola polar bear I mean come on this is such a great figure and also a perfect one for them to make flocked because of course he's a polar where he's supposed to be fuzzy. And this is also one of those ones that I do want to take out of the box because I'm looking at it here and they didn't flock the glasses, nose, his eyes, or the Coca-Cola bottle, and I kind of want to see how they did that. Oh, you know what? They probably just put it into his hand after. I don't know. It just looks really clean. So I'm definitely glad that I was able to get this figure because now I have both of them in the collection. I feel like if I wasn't trying to get every single ad icon possible, I probably would have just went for this one, but because I like to complete the sets when I can, I went for both. And you know what? Now that I think about it, I haven't really talked about my ad icon collection recently. I mean, I've been trying to buy every single new one that releases, and then going back for the old ones, they're still a little pricey. Now this next one that I've got here is kind of interesting because I noticed it actually bounces and I hear like some sort of like spring inside. Like there is no way you guys are going to be able to hear this, but yeah, there's definitely a spring in there. So I don't know guys, let's just get inside of this and find out what it is. And also I'm just thinking about this now. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Eh, whatever. I'm sure it's okay. And so anyways, guys, here we go. And let's find out, is there a letter inside? Oh, I know this. Okay, so somebody on Instagram had actually messaged me about sending this over. Now let me find out if there is a letter inside before I show you guys what it is. Okay, it doesn't look like it. So it means I'm going to be blanking on your name and I do really apologize about this but they had messaged me a little while ago saying that they found this over at a thrift store and they wanted to know if I wanted this and of course I did just because of how weird and wacky this thing is no pun intended by the way because if you guys don't know this is actually a wacky wobbler and you guys can probably tell this character looks 
a little bit familiar if you guys remember the figures from Fun Days 2019. This is one of their Geeky Tiki's, a character that they created themselves. And I actually have one behind me here. This isn't exactly the same color, but it's still the same character, a similar character. This one here is Dino. And if you take a look on the side of the box, those are the colors that it normally is. So very, very similar to these. And I thought it was really cool that they used the same characters that they made back in like, what does it say on the bottom here? 2000, wow. Okay, so yeah, 19 years later. And now again, if you're the one that sent this over to me, I seriously apologize that I'm blanking on your name, but this is just such a cool thing. I'm definitely gonna have to find a nice spot to put it in the room now. Here we go. And now inside of this next box, we've got something really, really special because I won this on a charity auction. It was actually part of the Ed Asner Family Foundation. I did a video with them. Oh, I want to say maybe last year where they actually sent over a figure signed by Ed Asner before he passed away. And then since then, I've been following them and Sidekicking did a massive live stream over on Whatnot where he was auctioning off a bunch of characters. And if you won, all of the proceeds from those figures actually went to the Ed Asner Family Foundation. And I believe these ones here are the stickers that I also bid on because there was a way to just kind of like donate, but you also got a sticker and I'm definitely gonna have to put these somewhere nice. I just don't know where yet. And then so inside of your guys is the figure that I won. Oh my gosh, I am so excited about this. So if you guys don't know, very similar to the one that we just took a look at, this is another character created by Funko, kind of. I mean, it's inside of the Fantastic Plastic line, but this one here was actually created by Tanner Hedges. I mean, this is just so special. He was one of the people that won the Fantastic Plastic giveaway, and you can read all about him on the back. It's a really cool story. And on the back here, it actually talks about him and his grandfather really enjoying baseball, which my grandfather also really enjoyed baseball. So when I saw this, I thought it was a perfect one to grab. And he didn't just have this figure up, he also had it signed with some art of Bat Boy on the side. So seriously, a cool thing to have in the collection. And also, like I mentioned, all of the proceeds went to the Ed Asner Family Foundation, so I could not pass up on this. Now, to be honest with you guys, this next box here has been sitting in my room for a little while now. Like, maybe it's been here since around Halloween? Oof, that long? Anyways, at least we're opening it up today and this is such a cool figure and I'm so glad that I'm finally opening this thing up because I kept pushing it off and then today I was like you know what no we're opening it up and the one that I'm talking about is another ad icon actually oh my gosh it is the Jack in the Box Skellington ja Skellington Skeleton Jack as well as the Monster Taco and I mean come on guys this two pack is crazy it was actually one that they gave out over at Fright Nights in New York when was that that would have been like middle of October sometime Time. It was the first time we ever got to see it. And I actually tried trading a guy, one of the Freddies that I got there, plus $100. He said, no, I got to keep my Freddy. And then I got this for 40 bucks. Or maybe even less than that. But whatever it is, I'm glad I didn't trade him. Because I now have it in the collection for way, way cheaper. And it's just such an amazing set. And I believe it's sold out now. Yeah, I would think so. But yeah, I am just loving this thing. Like the Monster Taco being a completely new character. And then Jack, I mean, he just looks great. Oh, and also, I do want to point out the box a little bit because the purple and black on this thing, I don't know, there's just something about it that doesn't look like a normal pop box and maybe it's because there isn't any white on this. It's just like completely black all the way around, which really stands out on the shelf. And so it looks like everybody, the last box that we're going to be opening up is the sodas and I'm guessing... All right, this is definitely them. I guess I could have just shook it to find out, but it's way more fun when it's a mystery. And it looks like, yeah, these are definitely soda sorters. And so like I mentioned, I picked up four new sodas off their website. They were both exclusive to there. And I figured I might as well get them right away because I did not want these things to sell out. And the ones that I'm talking about are, ooh, 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 definitely an exciting one. We've got Alfredo Linguini with Remy. And then the other one that we've got here, and let's hope it's a different can is, yes it is. It is the other one, it's Chef Colette. And so like I said, I got two of each to try to get a common and a chase. And I think we're going to start with Colette just because, I don't know, I'm liking the Linguini one a little bit more, especially because it has Remy. And so here we go, box lunch. Don't fail me now. Let's find out. This looks like the common one. Yeah, she's got a bowl in her hand. But I got to say, though, the figure is pretty accurate, especially with the whisk in it. I kind of like that and the way they actually put the grooves into it. It's not completely translucent or you can't see all the way through it, but it still does look like one. And if you're curious what this one is limited to. The common is one out of 10,000. And then the art on here is pretty neat because it is her completely cooking. Completely cooking? Oh, you know what I mean. Or maybe you don't. I don't know. And anyways, let's get into the next one here. And fingers crossed, this one is the chase because, you know, I want to have it. And then I don't have to go buy more of these on Box Lunch's website. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go. Come on. Please no bowl. Please no bowl. 
Please, no bowl. I think I'm feeling a bowl. Please don't be a bowl. If I can get this thing out of here. Ah, it's another bowl. Well, everybody, what are you gonna do? I guess buy more sodas at this point. And now let's get into the Alfredo Linguini, who I believe is also limited to the same amount. Yes, both 12,000. And now I guess we could be saving our chase luck today for him because this is really the one that I wanted to get it for. And let's find out. Okay, I'm seeing Remy in his hand. It kind of looks like the comment on the back, but I mean, either way, he looks great. Oh, now looking at Remy, he is just so cute in his hand. He's tiny. Like, I did not expect him to have that much detail, and this really does look like Alfredo Linguini. And now, just to make sure, let me check this here. No, this is not the chase, but the art on the pog does look pretty good. There's both of them together. I mean, come on, that's nice. Now, our last shot of the day. Ooh, I'm hoping we get something good here. Actually, I got the plastic off enough. I could just open this thing up. Come on, a chase. Come on. Come on a chase, come on a chase. It's looking very similar. Oh, come on, no. Let me check just to make sure. Oh yeah, this is the common one. And if I'm gonna be honest, oh, okay. So hold on, the chase is him holding a frying pan. I guess I should have checked that before. Well, no chases for today, but this one here is still one of my favorite sodas ever, especially with the amount of detail they put into it. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you tomorrow.